today I'm going to be working on a Grinch project in my StarCraft Create software. I'm going to go to File and I'm going to trace an image. I have already saved a couple images to my desktop, so I'm just going to go find that image. I am going to tell it to make it a monochromatic. What is showing up red is what's going to cut. So I'm going to go OK. And that looks like a pretty good image to me. I am now going to hold my shift key down so that I can enlarge this. And you can see this image is a nice crisp image I can use to cut my design out of vinyl, out of cardstock, out of whatever I want. Now if I wanted to color this in and create layers, I'm going to right click and go break apart. What it did was it broke some of those individual sections into the pieces that would become my layers. The reason it did not do that for the face is because the face is an open piece. And what I mean by that is, see this neckline opening? It's open. There's not a closed off line. All of these other areas were contained by a closed line. So I'm going to go undo and let's zoom in here. Ooh, that zoomed in really big. I'm going to create something that is going to close off this bottom. So to connect those, what I'm going to do is click on my brush, just this paintbrush looking thing. It's giving me the size of the, the brush width. So I want to make that smaller. That's pretty good. Let's, if I draw this line, kind of connecting those two. And now if I grab that and that, holding my shift key, grab both of them. And let's go path union. And it joined those together. I mean, that is a pretty thick line, but for these purposes, it will work. So now if I right click on this image and say, break apart, you can see it broke every closed area into its own shape. So now I can click on these different sections and say, okay, I want I want to look at this. That red line is showing you the outline of that cut piece. It is the inside of the hat piece. So then with that selected, I'm going to say, make that red. And come on. There we go. So now I can click on this and go over to my color, make that white. This is also going to be white. Then this part of the Grinch face would be green. His nose is a little bit darker green, I think. So I'm going to go his eyes. We could make those white, but I think also when he's kind of still mean, his eyes are usually yellow. So let's do the yellow eyes. Since I want this to match that same green, what I'm going to do is use the eyedropper and say match it. So I'm just selecting that image, going eyedropper, and match it. Okay, so that is my Grinch image. So what if I wanted to bring this design into a different software? Well, first thing I'm going to do is grab the whole thing 
and pull it down here a little bit. Okay, so it slid off of itself. Let's try it this way. Let's say select all and pull it down a little bit. Great. Now I'm going to go file, save project. If I wanted to use this in a different program that uses SVG files, I could just click right here where it says export and I can now export this as an SVG. And you can see right here, it's telling me my file type is going to be an SVG. I'm just going to put this on my desktop and call it Grinch Face. And all of those numbers are okay, so we're just going to go okay. So now, if I go look on my desktop, I can find this SVG file. I know it's an SVG file because it's got the icon that I've taught you to look for when you're looking at an SVG file. If I went to my desktop folder, I could see that this is a Microsoft Edge HTML document. So what that's telling me is that right above it is the JPEG that I started with. Right here is the SVG. It's got the right icon. It's got the right file type. Okay, so you can export true SVG files with your StarCraft crate. I am going to grab all of that. And I'm actually going to group it together so it stays all nice. Hold my shift key down so I can scale it up or scale it down. Sorry. Let's look at another trace image. If I choose my image, let's see if what happens here. There are four colors in here. So I'm going to change this to color layers. I am also going to change the number right here to four. So, and you're going to see that it got went rid of one of the green um, squares right in here. So basically I've told it to just look for those four colors. And now you can see that created a perfectly good layered SVG file from that image. The only thing it didn't do was fill in the white of these cuffs and that's because the software couldn't tell the difference between the white of the cuffs and the white of the background. So I'll have to do a break apart to fill that in but really that's no big deal. So in other softwares like Cricut Design Space, to get each one of those colors, we would have had to either use duplicate and contour to kind of fill things in, or we would have had to upload and clean up the image once for every color in there. But because I'm using a true design software that makes SVG files, just one and done. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.